Hello, so we've got a lot of things to do today. We're going to start out by showing you how to open the software, identify the platform type, identify the compiler type, select the virtual world, open a sample program. We're going to talk about the code and what reserved words are, syntax rules, white space comments, and then tell you where you can find additional resources. So let's get started. Let's begin by moving this out of the way and let's open up the software. I'm going to start out with Robot C for VEX and Cortex Pick Virtual Worlds. And so the software is open. To begin with, we want to go to Robot and select the platform type. I have both the LEGO and the VEX platform type on my machine. With If I wanted uh, to select VEX Pick, I would slide over here and click this. It just so happens that what I do want to use is the VEX Cortex, so I'm going to leave that up, VEX Cortex. The next thing that I have to do is select the compiler type. I can either select a physical robot or a virtual robot. I'm going to be programming virtual robots, so my compiler type needs to be virtual worlds. The last thing that we need to do is we need to select the virtual world. Earlier we had you download something called Palm Island. Palm Island should have automatically installed into this list. We're going to select Palm Island. We're going to open up a sample program. The VEX Cortex has lots and lots of sample programs. You can pull yours from basic movement uh, or any of these right in through here through the virtual worlds. The program that I've asked you to use, I put on my desktop. It's in VEX Forward for Time. I'm going to select that. And so let's look at the program. To begin with, all of the code up top, all of the pragma sta statements, were automatically set up by Robot C. We don't need to cover that right now. But you do need to know that any of the programs that you select from the virtual world folder, I'll go back, open sample program, and if I'm in the virtual world folder, all of these programs, the pragma statements, so all of your encoders and sensors are automatically set up for you. What you see in green, these are comments. So your double forward slash is a single line comment and what it's telling you is the code's automatically generated by Robot C and its configuration wizard. It says that the Robot C Virtual World Forward for Timing program. So let's take a look down here. Starting at line 18, we've got task main. Every C program has a task main. The task main is identified by the reserve word task main and then you have everything within these curly braces here and here are all part of task main. This code uh, turns on a motor. The motor is called the right motor and it sets it to 75 power level. So we're going to turn both motors on, set them up for 75, then we're going to wait 2000 milliseconds so we're going to wait for two seconds. A millisecond is one thousandth of a second. And then we're going to turn the motors off. Let's load that code to the robot and see what we get. Let's go robot, compile and download program. On your computer, you could just press F5. And this will automatically load the program or load the virtual world engine. I'm going to do challenge one. You may have already opened up Explore Palm Islands, the PDF, so that you can see what these challenges are about. I'm going to start the level. I've got a little robot here. It happens to be a blue robot. Uh, I'm going to hit play. And what should happen is the robot motor should be on for, should be on for two seconds. And then uh, they're going to stop. Whoops. And so let's go back. Let's run that again. Let's restart that. Let's hit enter. Forward for two seconds and then stop. 
we're going to stop right now and we'll, we'll have a part two of this.